Balancer, the popular multi-chain decentralized exchange, is a great choice of platform to swap and earn, and therefore in this video we're going to provide you with an easy in-depth tutorial on the Balancer protocol. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my opinion and based on my research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable, and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever, and be sure to follow us on Twitter, Old Crypto Gems for daily crypto content, and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. Friends, let's dive straight into the video. Okay, everyone, so we're officially on the website of Balancer, which is balancer.fi. We've got the official X page, which is at Balancer. Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells to stay up to date with everything regarding their protocol. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to briefly go through what Balancer is. We're going to explain how it works. And then, of course, we're going to show you how to use this popular decentralized exchange, which is home to many popular networks. Now, Balancer is a multi-chain decentralized exchange. Therefore, you can swap and earn on multiple networks. No matter what network you choose, you can replicate it across any network therefore whichever network i show you how to do it on you can do that on any network that you are choosing to do that on however the balancer dex app now this is for the users this is for those who are looking to swap tokens looking to earn yield from liquidity pools there are over 240,000 liquidity providers in the balancer platform right now and i'm going to show you how to be one of them on the other hand we've also got the build section which is for the builders the developers for those who are looking to integrate balancer into their protocol there are over 100 protocols that have already integrated Balancer, making it one of the most popular platforms to use in the entirety of Web3. And for the builders looking to learn more about Balancer, you can scroll down and read everything here. However, for users like us, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use this beautiful DeFi protocol to enable us to swap and earn on popular EVM chains. So what we want to do is my friends, we want to go up to the top right corner and we're going to launch the application. From here, you can see that we are prompted with balance support. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to connect our wallet. And for those who don't have a wallet set up, then you're obviously going to need to do so. And if you haven't got one, you can check out our MetaMask tutorial. You can check out other wallet tutorials, all of which you can find on our YouTube channel. However, assuming that you're watching the Balancer Dex tutorial, I already assume that you have a wallet. For me, I'm going to be personally choosing my MetaMask wallet as that's my most popular EVM wallet and if you've been watching our youtube videos you already know that so i'm going to connect my wallet if you feel more comfortable using a burner wallet then please by all means do so however you must agree to the terms and conditions and then proceed and then from here straight away you want to choose the network that you want to interact on now up the top you can see that i've got my ens domain which is highcryptoguy.eth on the left hand side of that you can see the network therefore i'm going to click the network and here you can see the huge variety of different networks that balancer is available on we've got the ethereum network Network, which is obviously the main network and then we've got a whole bunch of evm compatible networks such as arbitrum avalanche base gnosis polygon polygon zk evm optimism mode and fractal now in my personal opinion i think this is a great list and to start off with what we're going to do is we're going to use the base network now there's a couple reasons as to why i want to start with the base network first is because it is a thriving ecosystem that i believe has a great future ahead of it second is the fact that i believe that there's an airdrop coming soon for the base network and therefore this base token could be absolutely huge and by making transactions on the base network i think we can also qualify for this airdrop therefore as you can see, we are on the base network and you must ensure that you have Ethereum on the base network in order to proceed. Ethereum is the gas token for the base network as base is a layer two. Therefore, you will need it to conduct transactions. So if you've got your Ethereum from here, what you can decide is if you'd rather pick out the tokens that you want to swap by deciding which liquidity pool you want to get into, if that's what you're going to do, or if you're simply looking to swap, what we're going to do is if we go up to the top left corner, you can see that we've got the pools and we've got the swap. So we want to go over to the swap section and here we can see that we are on the Ethereum network straight away but we actually want to be on the base network now i'm going to be choosing my ethereum tokens to swap from which is going to be up the top in order to swap to the token down below you just select the token and then it could be the tokens that are in your wallet which as you can see are labeled right here or you can very well scroll down and choose any other token that you would like to buy i'm not telling you what to buy or what to swap into i am simply showing you how to do it and myself what i'm going to do is i'm going to be personally choosing the usdc token it's completely up to you which token you decide to swap however for the sake of the tutorial I just want to make it USDC for the ease of the video. However, I'm going to do around 0.0 three ethereum that will give me roughly eight dollars and ten cents i accept the unknown price impact i click next as you can see i'm going to get at least eight dollars a max slippage of 0.5 percent with an unknown price impact if we click swap straight away we are prompted up with a metamask transaction so as you can see we must confirm it 
I always use a Trezor device in order to secure my wallet. Guys, this is absolutely essential for me to sleep at night. If I don't use my Trezor, I will not sleep. As you can see, the transaction has been confirmed. We have now swapped our tokens. If we see it here, guys, straight away, we've now got $8.10. That was instantaneous, and I absolutely love it. So as you can see in our MetaMask wallet, we've now got Ethereum, and we've now got USDC. Therefore, it is simple. If you just wanted to swap it back, guys, you would just click the main amount. And as you can see, it would just swap directly back into Ethereum. Nonetheless, that is how you swap on the base network. That is how you swap on any network. I'm going to show you another example shortly. However, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to provide liquidity on the base network. And then from here, guys, those who are looking to get into pools, what you can do is you can go to the pool section, filter it down by the base network, as you can see. And then from here, you can decide where you would like to deposit your USDC, your Ethereum or any other tokens that you would like to deposit into pools. Now, please bear in mind, guys, that in order to get involved in any liquidity pool, just take a look at the TVL. It is essential. If there's barely any TVL in the pool, then I'd be extra cautious because there is more volatility. If there's more liquidity in the pool, then it is less volatile and less risky in my personal opinion. However, there is always risk when providing liquidity, so bear that in mind. However, before we provide liquidity, I'm going to show you how to swap on another network just to simply show you that it works the same no matter what network that you're on. Therefore, we're back on swap again, and I'm now going to choose the, a different network. So if I go up to the top right, I'm going to choose a different network that I want to use. Let's just say it was the Arbitrum network this time, a popular layer two network. In fact, the most popular. I've got Ethereum, and as you know, we're going to need Ethereum to perform transactions. Therefore, if I just go to the bottom token and I show you how to swap again, if we just swap into, say, USDT, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do around 0.024, which is around $6.60 worth. If I click next, as you can see, it's going to find an order route of four hops. This means that it's going to aggregate the best swap possible through the best decentralized exchanges on Arbitrum. So if I click swap here, guys, I'm going to confirm it once again using my MetaMask and Trezor device. Straight away, guys, the transaction has been completed and we can now see that I've got $7 worth of USDT from here. Guys, this is how you provide liquidity in a pool. So if we go up into the pool section, and once again, we're going to filter it down by the network that we want to use. This time, I'm going to choose Arbitrum. As you can see here, we've got Radiant with Rapdeath with a $15.22 million TVL. Fantastic. Remember, we want to look out for solid TVLs like I explained just a minute ago. If you want to scroll down and find USDT specifically, you can do. So you've got different pools with multi tokens or you've just got dual liquidity pools. It's completely up to you. So say, for example, we just type in USDT, scroll down, you can find all the pools that include USDT. Now, remember, if it has an extremely low amount in the liquidity pool, such as $4,000, I personally would avoid it. Even $67,000 is a risk. I think that at least 500K and above makes me feel a little bit safer. Now, if you catch it on around 250K, it could be okay. But guys, just bear in mind, there is more risks when it comes to lower liquidity in a pool. However, my friends, let's just say I wanted to get a random one on Arbitrum. I'm just going to choose one with a strong amount of liquidity, such as the Radiant Capital and Ethereum one. It's a weighted pool with $15.22 million, 455,000 volume in the last 24 hours alone. And it's got an APR between 12.25% and 26.5%. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so this is the one we're going to do. And in order to provide liquidity in this pool, we're going to need to get RDNT tokens. So if I go to swap, I can either A, swap my ETH into RDNT tokens, or B, the USDT tokens that I've just swapped, which I've got right here, I'm now going to swap into Radiant. Therefore, if I type in RDNT, Radiant Capital is the token that we want to get. I'm going to swap all of my USDT this time. I'm going to click Next, Approve USDT. I have to approve the smart contract as so. Now I confirm it, just like so, and we are about to get RDNT tokens just like that rapid guys i absolutely love the balancer platform it is just instantaneous if we now go over to pools and now filter it down once again go over to arbitrum as you can see we've now got rdnt to ethereum if we click on this pool you can see all the infographics and data about it the weekly incentives the fees the apr the pool composition so as you know we've got rdnt with ethereum so what i'm going to do is i'm now going to implement this liquidity so in the top right you can see add liquidity from here you want to simply deposit how much you want to put into the pool so let's just say i put i don't know 50 of my rdnt tokens into the liquidity pool you must obviously agree to the terms and conditions 
and then down below you want to input the amount of ETH that you want to put in the pool. So this time, let's just say I put in pretty much almost the same amount. I'm going to then click next, which is a total of $7.33 and a potential weekly yield of four cents. I think it's absolutely awesome how it works it out for you. And if you think about it, just by putting in $7, four cents isn't that bad. If I put in $70, it would be 40 cents a week and $700 at $4 a week. That's an average guys. And it's not saying that it's guaranteed. However, to be honest with you, that is actually very impressive. Now I'm going to click next. From here, I'm going to approve RDNT to add confirm the transaction and here I'm going to now get 14.16 LP tokens once I've approved it then you must click add liquidity and then after that I will show you how to withdraw it for those who are ready to withdraw but guys this is very simply how you add liquidity to a pool just like that it is now just been deposited this platform is instantaneous and then from here we have the option of now staking our LP tokens so over on the staking options down below if we click stake here we can see that we can stake our LP token so we can stake for rewards. I click next. Again, you must approve the LP tokens to stake. If you don't want to stake them, guys, it's completely up to you. However, this is a way of farming. Now I'm going to click confirm. And then after that, we're going to stake the LP tokens. LP tokens can then be unstaked and then withdrawn from the liquidity pool at any given time. It is completely up to you. But only are they earning the yield once you have staked them and obviously got them in the liquidity pool. Now, if you go down below, you can see your total liquidity. We've got $7.33 here. If we go to staked, as you can see, we've got staked on balancer our pool share, which is the $7.33. For those who are ready to withdraw it, you just click unstake. You just click the amount, obviously being 14, and click next. You approve the transaction, approve the relayer, and then click claim and unstake. And down below, after that, I'm obviously not ready to unstake it. You would just simply go down to this remove button here, and then that's how you would withdraw your LP tokens, and it would go back directly into your Ethereum and RDMT tokens. However, if you want to add more, you just go to the add button and do the exact same thing we just done. But guys, that is exactly how you deposit into a liquidity pool. You can replicate that on base, Ethereum, Ivalon, optimism or any of the networks that is integrated on the balancer protocol there are so many to choose from and the same goes with the swapping guys you can replicate this feature on any single network that you want to use whether that's avalanche whether that's gnosis you can swap your tokens provide liquidity and maximize the benefits of the balancer protocol however from here i now want to show you the portfolio section therefore if you go to portfolio here you can see the total amount that you've deposited into the balancer protocol now i've got ten dollars and 68 cents in balancer liquidity you saw the seven dollars and 70 cents that we did over on arbitrum just a second ago however previously in the past i must have added around three dollars or something like that into the zk evm network which is obviously polygons layer two and therefore like i said you can replicate this across any chain it tells you all about your rewards that are claimable so i've got six cents out of six cents from the three dollars and thirty cents that i inputted that time if i go down you can see that i've got the rdmt pool and i've got my eth to wrap staked eth on the polygon zk evm network pool now this is absolutely fantastic and like I've shown you I did add around three dollars and thirty cents but it's only got an APR of one percent I can withdraw that at any time and I can click view and as you can see I can claim these six cents in rewards on the ZK EVM network if I wish now the portfolio section is a great way to keep tabs of what you are depositing on the balancer protocol as obviously if you're depositing into multiple networks you are going to end up getting lost and forgetting what you have deposited that's why balancer have made it nice and sleek and easy and a beautiful user interface and has it all on one screen for you to overview collect your rewards or even deposit and withdraw liquidity now the last and final thing of this video my friends if you go to vbell this is going to redirect you to a new page however a new and improved vbell experience is currently being crafted in the meantime go to the old application to manage your vbell vote on gauges lock and unlock vbell view your balance and expiry dates sync vbell to other networks and basically guys bow is the native token of the platform however vbell allows you to boost liquidity mining yield up to 2.5 x vote to direct liquidity mining emissions and earn your share of protocol revenue now it is the primary network of the protocol guys therefore you can participate in governance and earn fees from all the swapping that takes place on the decentralized exchange now personally i think this is absolutely fantastic and although we are going to have a new ui added to the new website which we've been using the whole video at the moment in order to use vbow you're going to have to use the old website however my friends that is basically it for this video if you've enjoyed it please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have any questions regarding anything that's happened in this video or if you need any help at all please don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section down below 
below. Or you can even hit me up on X at OXTheo underscore ACT, where I will try and answer your questions to the best of my ability. Now, friends, we appreciate you so much once again. If there are any tutorials or any content that you want us to cover, please don't hesitate to let us know. And we can't wait to see you in the next video. And we currently have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading, and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies, and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides, and more. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DJs.